Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do a video on some of the tips and hacks uh, for rigging a Laztec baits on hooks, jig heads, um, as trailers on, on chatter baits or swim jigs or just jigs in general, uh, all, all types of stuff. So we're gonna go over some of the, the nuances to rigging a Laztec baits because a Laztec is, um, is a great material. It's extremely durable, it's very buoyant which is advantageous for a lot of different tactics and, and bait designs it's also very soft uh, which makes it very very lively it has a lively action to it um, but it also being so drastically different than any other uh, soft plastic material traditional soft plastics out there a lot of people have um, you know some some difficulty rigging a Laztec because they're just used to fishing the traditional soft plastic but that doesn't mean that you can't rig a Laztec, every single Laztec bait uh, perfectly for whatever presentation you're using. So I wanna show you some of the things that I've learned that have helped me in a lot of the situations that I've heard people have uh, a hard time with. So let's start off with uh, one of the most commonly asked, and I need to take this little hook uh, tube off of the, the hook of this jackhammer. It's brand new, look at that. Nice fire craw jackhammer. That is something that, that everybody's looking for. Um, but one of the most common questions that I that I get is like, you know, I just can't seem to rig the elastic baits on the hook to where it's not like bunching up on one certain spot. Because it's so durable, sometimes elastic is harder to get um, over like bait keepers and things like that to where it's not it's not bunching up. So traditional way of of rigging a soft plastic onto a um, a hook or jig or chatterbait, whatever it is, is to just push it on there and and push from behind. Okay, now pushing from behind poses some issues with with Elastec because it you know the the material is so strong. So what I like to do, and this one actually uh, rigged up perfectly, but what I like to do is actually pull. Okay, so instead of just pushing, which some of the the baits are going to have a hard time um, just just pushing, the the goat actually went on there quite nice, so no issue there. But uh, for a lot of situations situations you're going to want to pull. So just for the sake of this video to make it look like it's difficult, I'm going to do one of those like as seen on TV like montages where it's super difficult to do something easy. Um, so right there, it looks like it, you know, pushing from behind, it's kind of uh, bunching up right there on the, on the keeper. So it's best to just hole okay and you can see it popped and uh, the material just kind of now is is molded around that bait keeper so that is going to stay there for a very long time so that is the the first tip for rigging elastic is if you're having a hard time and i'm going to say if because sometimes just like you know I, I didn't have a problem with putting the goat on there um, but a lot of times you're going to have a hard time pushing it from behind so you want to pull the nose you're not going to damage the the material at all you're just going to want to pull and uh, pull it towards the head of the bait or the eye of the hook. So that is the first tip and it kind of brings me into my second tip because we've already talked about the, the, the hook keeper. Now on a chatter bait like this, I rarely have to do anything because the jackhammer and some of the other chatter baits have this absolutely uh, legit uh, keeper here. You got two metal barbs and that keeps just about any plastic including a Laztec and especially a Laztec uh, really really well on, on the bait. But there's some times where you're using a keeper that just does not have that like that real legit you know keeper on there and it, it sometimes wants to slide down. So um, let's just take this uh, you know what we're gonna do something different actually. So we're gonna take this this, um, this uh, Ned rig, for example. So uh, in most situations, you're just gonna slide it on there 
you know, and then you got an exposed hook and we actually have another tip specifically for the Ned rig that we'll get into. But so you have it like that uh, and you know, the, the keeper on there is gonna keep it for the majority of the time, uh, but to make it so you never have to deal with the bait sliding down the shank of the hook, this right here is your best friend. Okay, this super glue um, is something that I, I hate it when I, for, when I run out or I forget it and I don't have it in the boat. It is so absolutely critical for a lot of my fishing when it comes to a Laztec or, you know, even back in the day with traditional plastics, um, uh, you know, uh, a super glue is really, really key, but especially with the Laztecs because this Laztec material is gonna last a very, very long time. And so if you put super glue on the eye of your hook or the, um, and we're just gonna pretend like we're doing it right now because I, I, I'm not even sure that the super glue is actually still liquid. Um, but what I like to do is, is at the head of, it is still liquid, but I'm just gonna pretend. You just put a drop right there at the head. You don't have to put a lot and just snug it up. And once it dries, man, you've got a absolutely solid connection between a jig head and an Elastec bait. So keep some super glue with you. That is the best way. If you're worried about the bait or just frustrated with the bait uh, sliding down the, the, the hook or the jig head, try some super glue. And one thing, you know, a lot of people know the whole jig head and super glue uh, tip, but one thing that, that a lot of people don't know is that you can do it with just a traditional hook. So we'll take the uh, the turbo fatties for instance, okay? So uh, the turbo fatties, um, you end up putting, rigging this thing up and before you end up uh, pulling the, the eye of the hook through into the bait, take a little bit of super glue, okay? Because it's always frustrating when you, you're fishing grass or, or you're fishing you know, any Texas rig and that, that hook or the bait slides down the shank of the hook and it tends to do it a little bit more with a Laztec just because the material is so soft. And, but you fix that 100% by just putting a little bit of super glue over the knot and the eye of the hook and then snugging it up uh, into the, the Elastec. And then, you know, again, it becomes one with uh, that hook. So that's another tip. Um, so keep some super glue with you if you're fishing Elastec baits or just any uh, soft plastic baits. Uh, super glue is always a good deal. This is actually, and this is another tip, go to Walmart, go to your store and get this one right here because this is, you got the regular like, you know, nozzle applicator. Um, but you also got this thing right here. You got this little brush. I love this this um, this type of super glue. It's that Gorilla Glue super glue brush brush and nozzle type. So that is the one that I love to stock up on. I keep like four or five of them on my bait wall on the back of the camper. Uh, so that last tip actually kind of uh, segues a little bit into the next tip, which is, you know, um, Texas rigging Elastec baits. Now, traditional Texas rig uh, soft plastics, you want to do something that they call Texpose, which Texpose is essentially just rigging it like a Texas rig, traditional Texas rig, just like this. But then you bring the hook all the way through the bait, Okay, and then you just dig the hook point into the plastic to make it weedless. Okay, this will still work with Elastec, but I'm telling you, it's way better if you just shove that hook point right into the thick, thickest part of that, that meaty Elastec bait. Okay, it could be all the way on the bottom. You're still going to get a super solid hooking percentage. With traditional plastics, it's such, they're so, it's such a dense material that that hook point really needs a lot of help to get it through that material on the hook set. And it's, it, it tends to bunch up on the shank of the hook a little bit more. But with the Laztec, it is so soft and so malleable, malleable and, uh, and compressible that when you set the hook, that hook point is gonna come through. If you do end up exposing it like traditional plastic, you're gonna have a lot of frustrating moments where, you know, if you're swimming the, the, the uh, turbo fat, 
fatties, for instance, through grass, it's probably the hook point's gonna come out and it's gonna hook onto that grass. So I highly suggest, it doesn't matter if it's the little Ned rig that we're gonna be talking about, uh, a little hack on how to rig that, or if you're fishing you know, something super wide like the, uh, the turbo fatties or the goat or the goat toads, whatever it may be, dig that hook point into the dead center of that bait uh, and I guarantee you're still not going to have a hard, hard time hooking those fish and you're going to be way more efficient with it. So that is a, a really, really important tip that I don't think a lot of people realize about this because everybody, and I, I felt the same way, I always felt like, man, uh, you know, I, it, I, I just, I never felt okay just just uh, sticking a hook point in the center of, of a plastic bait because I knew that that it would bunch up and I might not be able to get that hook point through the, the, the plastic, but don't have that problem with elastic. All right, so because I already talked about it, let's go into my Ned Rig uh, tip, okay? So we already did the, the whole super glue thing and th this is actually really important to use the super glue on, on doing this. But so Ned Rig obviously been a big deal. Uh, a lot of people have caught a lot of fish on it and it's it was traditionally meant to, to be a exposed jig head type of, of uh, situation. So you got the, you got the Ned rig like that, hopefully rigged a little bit uh, straighter than I just did, um, but you've got the exposed hook there. That's awesome if you're fishing rock, gravel, any type of situation where you're not gonna be snagging a lot, but if you wanna throw it around wood or a little bit of grass, it's not really going to be a very efficient way to, uh, to uh, catch fish. So what I like to do, and this is actually something I do almost all the time now, I hardly ever fish the exposed way uh, unless I'm fishing just very specific, you know, uh, clean bottom areas. Um, but what I like to do is text rig, and you've probably seen this tip from me before. So I'm essentially taking the, the finesse TRD or whatever Ned rig I'm, I'm fishing, which is usually a finesse TRD, and uh, the jig head, and I like the Ned Locks HD. Um, that's my favorite jig head for this because it's got a, a heavier hook on it and that keeper tends to hook, uh, keep the, the, uh, the TRD perfect um, so it's perfectly straight. But we're gonna take the jig head and we're gonna go down about an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, whatever that is. And then we're gonna pull it snug to the head of the, the jig head. And at this time, that's when we're gonna put a drop of super glue. You don't wanna to put too much because the TRD has a lot of salt in it. And if you put a lot of super glue onto this, uh, onto the TRDs, especially some of the darker colors for some reason, they tend to, to melt the nose. So you don't wanna do that. You just wanna put one little, uh, little dollop, one little uh, drop of that, uh, that super glue. And then all you do is just dig that hook point right into the center of the plastic like I told you. And again, even if you're using light line, you're not gonna have a, a hooking percentage problem with uh, a Texas rig like this. It doesn't look, if this was a traditional plastic, there's no way you'd have a good hooking percentage because it would it would ball up onto that, that the shank of that hook and you just wouldn't have enough of a gap. But with the Laztec, your hooking percentage is phenomenal with, with a Texas rig like that. But that right there is a great way to, um, to to rig this bait so you can fish it around wood, lay downs, uh, you know, grass, docks, whatever you want to fish it on, that's the way to do it. All right, what else? All right, so I've got one last tip um, that is, again, something I've talked about a little bit, but it's definitely worth revisiting. So one of the, the struggles that I've always had is, you know, fishing a, a belly weighted uh, swim bait hook, just like this Hayabusa here, um, is that most of these hooks, including this one, uh, originally come with a corkscrew, okay? And if you've ever tried to corkscrew a, uh, a, a Laztec bait, you know the true frustration that, um, that you feel when you're trying to do that. It just doesn't work very well. Uh, of course, the baits like the mag fatties and, and those baits have a higher salt content, so they're a little bit more porous. You can get that corkscrew in there a little bit better, but man, with a bait that doesn't have hardly any salt in it, it, like the 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 goat or a lot of the other baits, a swim baits for instance, uh, it's really really hard. So 
I forgo that completely and I do a little customization. The thing that I do is I take this little gem right here. This is the TRD spins. Okay, so um, this is designed to, you know, you can you can put that into a, uh, a Ned rig or something like that and add a little bit of flash to it. But what I ended up doing is I take off the the bearing swivel and the uh, and the the actual blade. Okay, and I leave just that that split ring that attaches um, to the uh, the spike here. And so I take the spike and that split ring off. Okay, and uh, I take it and replace the corkscrew that is on my swim bait uh, uh, jig head with that spike. And so now you've got the perfect Elaztec um, swim bait hook for weedless rigging. So you've got, you just stick it in there because it's that spike is designed for Elaztec. Stick it in there, Texas rig it, you are good to go. Only last thing you need to do, that's right, super glue. Put some super glue on that spike. You can already see that I've got quite a bit of super glue already caked on there, um, but it is so, Super critical to use that super glue. But anyways, those are some of my hacks, my tips uh, for rigging Elastec baits. It is a superb material. It works really, really well for a lot of different bait designs and, uh, it, and it, it, for a lot of different categories of baits, it is the only uh, material that I would even think about using uh, for them. So, and so these were just some tips on how to rig it so you're more efficient and more effective with this material. So, tell me about your thoughts. Let me know if you have any other hacks or tips. I really want to hear them on, on how to rig uh, Elastec baits. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm going to see you out on the water and in the shop.